Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would show you what I got for my birthday. <sighs> I've just run up the stairs. Um, Cause I know last year a lot of people really enjoyed that video and like my Christmas, what I got for Christmas people liked. So yeah, I thought I would share with you what I um, got. I'm gonna quickly whiz through the um, stocking fillers I got. Um, stocking fillers, I know it's not Christmas, but like the little trinkety bits that I got and then save like the better things to last. From got me like quite a few little stocking bits. Got this little candle from Tesco. A travel backgammon, which if you've not paid backgammon, get to know. When I was younger, I had a slight addiction um, and I haven't played it for years. So travel backgammon. Some nail files, I have used one already. Cute little picture frame, which I'm gonna put a picture from London in. A new Tangle teaser for face mask. A Baker body spray. So Baker body spray is really nice by the way guys. A few little bralettes, a black and a white one from Tesco. I live in these sorts of bras, so very nice. Um, some stick it, oh, it's got very bright in here, but some stick it tape, so like body tape for wearing outfits and stuff. Dermaplaning, razor blades. And then she got me this book, which I did want for Christmas, um, but I didn't actually get. Um, and I was considering buying it myself, but she got me this book. It's the Living in the Chateau, Living the Chateau Dream. In lockdown, I had an addiction to Escape to the Chateau, the like series. Um, and to be honest, I want to see which episodes I've missed and like catch up with it all. Um, but when I saw they'd brought out a book, I was very excited. Um, so I have that. Very, very boring, but this is what I needed for uni and it's a 30 odd pound book and I didn't want to pay that myself so I asked for it for my birthday. The last like little stocking filler bit she got me was this watch strap which I was with her when we bought it because it's all like damaged and stuff is the box but it's not a proper Apple, Apple watch strap it's just like you know a different brand but it's like black and sparkly and I thought for like going nice places like you know like out for a meal and stuff that would be nice and I don't have any that black. So I'll show you what my friends got me now, probably just because that will be easier. Um, so my best friend got me a little Yankee Candle jar topper. It's for a small jar. It's a beautiful blue color, but it's not really blue when you have it. It's more, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very, very nice. Um, and then if you saw my packing video, I actually did buy myself these anyway, but she bought me some more, which you may be thinking like, oh, that's a bit annoying. But I'm actually blessed about it, to be honest, because I now have a pair for home and a pair for Alex's house, because obviously I do to and throw between them. And it just means that I have something nice to wear around the house at his. My uni friends, I'll just show you like collectively what's in this bag. Um, so I got a bottle of Carver, um, a Barbero, slight running joke with that. Um, I got misguided socks, again, living misguided. I did have a black pair in here, but I have worn them. Um, this misguided like crop top box bra like kind of thing. It's like for underclothes, you know? And then some matching grey knickers. And then really, really sweet, this handmade, um, oh, it's really gonna be hard to see, I think, um, key ring that's got my name on it. And it's rose gold and white, but it's just so pretty. Um, so yeah, got that as well. Whilst I think on, um, Alex's parents actually got me a spa trip. So it's for me and Alex, it's a couple's like spa trip. Oh, thank you very much for that. Um, we are yet to book it, but I may record it when we go, who knows. Um, and then his younger sister got me this little Victoria's Secret set. It's really actually quite nice. I smelled it the other day and it's a really nice smell. It's um, velvet petals, I'm going to say velvet pastel, but velvet petals scent and that's really, really nice. So thank you for that. I feel like I've probably not said thank you for everything, but I am obviously really, really grateful for everything that I've got from, I'll show you what Alex got me because yeah, on the theme of his family. 
So he got me this, which when it was wrapped, I was like, what on earth is it? But it's a hand casting kit, which I thought was really nice, like something to do on a weekend and we've got nothing to do. Um, so it's like where you know you hold hands and then you put it in the mould and then you fill it and it creates like a picture of your hands. Um, so I thought that was really, really sweet. He also got me this, which is a bit of a running joke. It's one of the reversible bears. Um, so it's a happy white one and then a crying brown one. And obviously, um, Alex is in the process of buying his first home. I won't be living there, but obviously I will be there quite a bit. Um, and he got me an apron that says Queen of the Kitchen. So if that's not hinting at that I'm going to be cooking every time I'm at his house, I don't know what is. So I'll show you, I'll do what my sister bought me first. Um, and then I'll get the main presents that my mum got me. Um, so my sister actually bought me this watch strap so i did get two watch straps for christmas it's the um it's a proper apple one this one and it's just a yellow sports brand then she did actually buy me two dresses this one i wanted in summer if you saw my vlogs in summer i bought a blue well i bought this dress in blue and i saw it in green in the store and i really wanted to buy it but i was like i just can't buy two dresses the exact same in different colours on the exact same day so I never bought it and I regretted it and then I couldn't get it in store after it needs an ING um, but it is beautiful and I cannot wait to wear it in summer it is stunning um, she did also get me a green dress another green dress sorry um, which I will insert a picture of because I have already worn it so it's in the wash I wore it for my birthday um, that's also from Zara, that's from Zara by the way. Um, it's also from Zara and it's a really, really, really nice dress. Then moving on to what my mum got me. Um, I'll start with clothes that my mum got me. Orange top for summer, but also supposed to come out on like nights out and things. Um, with a nice pair of like jeans. It's this white t-shirt dress, but it has the frill layering details on it. These sorts of dresses are what I live in. I love anything like that. And white dresses as well, the key to my heart. I then from Goose and Gander, which if you know, I love Goose and Gander, my mum got me this cropped white hoodie. And it's just got the limited like logo. So black Birkenstocks for summer, just start like, chilling on the garden. Um, whatever you know. um, and then she bought me some Ugg boots which are actually downstairs because I have been wearing them um, they are kids Uggs because my feet are tiny and adults Uggs are like quite a lot more expensive um, so I was with her when she bought these because obviously when it's something that's quite expensive you don't want to get it wrong these were my main present so I'm very very grateful for that before I move on to what I bought myself, she did actually buy me something else. My mum. She got me this Tommy Hilfiger bag to go to London with. It's a canvas bag and it has this like little keychain on it that's got Tommy Hilfiger and everything. Um, it's small but it fits a lot in it, which was obviously the idea. And then it has a thicker crossbody strap then moving on to what i bought myself for my birthday i'm gonna say i trapped myself but it was using my birthday money so i didn't really treat myself um so i got birthday money from like a fair few family members and um, so thank you for all the money that i got this is what i bought i did put a little bit towards here and there but um overall this is like what i bought for my birthday money um so from dior i you would think it'd be something really exciting and it's just not. It's the Dior Addict Lip Sugar Scrub. Um, I have this already, but I literally have the tiniest bit left. My auntie bought me it for Christmas um, a few years ago. So I just repurchased it. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, I got a mini Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. 
this was like ridiculously expensive for the size of the pot obviously in the makeup shops they don't have prices on anything which isn't like a massive issue i just didn't expect it to be as much as what it was for the size of the pot it smells really nice and i know like it is amazing and then last but not least i checked myself in urban outfitters to another juicy tracksuit um, so I got myself a cream one this time. I have the grey one already, but my grey one doesn't have the juicy like gems on it. It's the one with the pockets on the bottom, um, and it just has the like the exposure is ridiculous. Um, like sewn in juicy on it. Um, so I got myself the cream one. Um, it's in a size small for anyone that cares. In fact, I think all my clothes are a size small or a size six. So if you want in to buy any of the clothes that I've been bought for my birthday. That is everything that I got for my birthday. I was definitely spoiled rotten. Um, thank you for everyone that sent me cards, birthday wishes and things like that. I've had an amazing birthday and yeah. Um, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.